This is Micropulse ISIS PEMF video tutorial number five, testing your ISIS coils. We're going to show you basically how to make sure that your coils are functioning properly. The key to getting the best performance out of your ISIS system is to check the coils frequently. If they're worn out or broken, or if they don't pass test, they should be replaced. So first, always begin with a fully charged nine volt battery. With the coils plugged in, go ahead and turn the system on. You'll see flashing green light on the device indicating that everything's working just fine. Just as an example, here's a defective device. If you turn it on, you'll see a red X. That red X means the device is defective. The coils are not your problem. It's the device itself. This is very unusual, but if that happens, contact us at micropulse.com and we'll make sure that uh, the right thing happens and that you get your device fixed under warranty repair or it is replaced. Testing ISIS coils is relatively straightforward. Once you've turned the system on, you've verified that the coils are plugged in fully and that the green LED is flashing. Simply listen to the coils. You should hear a clicking sound. As you increase the power of the system, the sound of the clicking should increase. The clicking sound is very distinct, but you don't have to stack the coils to hear the clicking sound. You can hear the clicking sound even if the coils are separated. Each individual coil will make the same clicking sound. This is not unusual. This is part of the physics of the operation of ISIS technology. We, unfortunately, we can't get rid of it because it's an important part of the physics of the way that ISIS works. We also supply a coil test chip, this hexagonal object, and it can be placed directly over the coils. When you place it over the coils, you'll see a flashing green pair of LEDs. When the LEDs flash, you know that that coil is working. It works over individual coils or coils stacked together. The coil test chip is extremely convenient because you can use it to test coils that are already in place and underneath bandages. For example, I have here a folded up bandage with about eight layers. If you place that bandage over the, t over the coils, you can still use the test chip and the test chip clearly indicates that the coils are functioning. Switching now to a set of coils that are known to be defective through our extensive testing program, I can show you that if you place the tester over the coils when they're not functioning, you see no flashes on the green LEDs, even though the green LED on the ISIS device itself, the pulse generator, is working. This means the pulses are coming out of the pulse generator, but they're not coming out of the coils. In this case, the coils are defective and they need to be replaced. So please keep in mind, your ISIS system has to have a good set of coils to work properly. The coils do not last forever. You will wear them out. We make them available to you at very low cost on the internet. So please replace your ISIS coils often. Test them before each use. And make sure that anything that looks broken or worn is replaced.